We left 2023 with some good successes, solid, robust successes, including the agreement on uh, the Pact on Migration and Asylum. We now have to conclude uh, that negotiation under the Belgian presidency, and I feel very optimistic about that. But we still have a lot of challenges uh, ahead to deal uh, with. We have to continue strengthening both the external and the internal dimension of managing uh, migration. And uh, while the international uh, environment is uh, uh, getting uh, more full, fuller and fuller by crisis. We are particularly worried about what is going on in the Middle East and the effect that might have on uh, uh, migrant flows uh, into Europe. So for all this, we are ready to talk and discuss further uh, today here in Brussels. Thank you. Yes, this is one major topic, uh, obviously. As you know, millions of uh, Ukrainians are under uh, provisional protection in uh, Europe. In my country, we have 26,000, and we recently have offered them um, resident permits uh, uh, and a legal pathway to migration if they choose to do uh, so. Um, it's an uh, overall uh, uh, challenge, but uh, I would say that the European societies have been very receptive and um, um, better at welcoming uh, our uh, uh, fellow Europeans from uh, Ukraine. Yes, I know that, and I've been talking with the Ukrainian ambassador in Athens uh, a lot. Uh, obviously, when the situation stabilizes uh, uh, in Ukraine, uh, many of them uh, will choose uh, uh, to do so. But we are here to offer uh, uh, them whatever they, uh, they need in the meantime. Thank you.